Hi everyone, it's Kyle from Critical Prop. Uh, today we're working on the shaft, or I guess the shaft, of the Lawbringer's Poleaxe. Uh, you could use an actual wood shaft if you had one, or if you want to, but I'm using rigid PVC. Uh, there's going to be a video of this on YouTube if you do miss the live stream, but the live stream will be saved to my page if you come back to look at it. Not sure... How well are you going to see it because of the focus set on the camera with the lighting? I'll post pictures. But I did a quick, uh, uh, quick test on the end of it. And I used initially 100, yeah, 100 grit sandpaper to sand off the sheen if, and there was, if there was any lettering. And I used some burnt sienna oil paint uh, with a glove. You could use a rag if you wanted to. And I just kind of smudged it into the creases. I did a very small amount uh you don't want to be too generous or else it's going to be uh completely covering in everything like all the grooves that you want to do so you could either use um some 40 grit sandpaper or like a rasp or some files i tried using this rasp but since this is rigid pvc and this is pretty old and used and the tips on the rasp are pretty dull um, okay, well, anyways, I'm just going to continue. So anyways, what I did, quick uh, overview, I did a test piece. I used 100 grit sandpaper. I sanded the sheen off and any lettering. And then I used oil paint, uh, burnt sienna to give it like a wood grain texture. So anyways, what I'm going to be doing today is the rest of the shaft. If you want, you could do this actual wood. But in the spirit of cosplay, we're going to use some PVC. So, using 40 grit to get a lot more deeper grooves, you can see how much, um, in comparison, if I was using 100 grit, it just kind of breaks the shine. If I want to use 40 to get some bigger grooves, um, make sure you're wearing like a little mask, a dust mask or something, and uh, try and keep it natural. Uh, so, up and down is usually the how grooves uh, for the grain run for wood, but make sure you know you add some inconsistencies to make it a little bit more natural. So, I am just up and down the whole length of the shaft. As bad as that sounds, uh, as you can see, Using the 40 grit, my um, sandpaper is getting gummed up with all the plastic that we're sanding. So I'm just going to change it out for a new piece. Kind of want to make sure you got everywhere done. You don't have any shine left from the coating of the plastic so add some inconsistencies like some different ways like the grooves just kind of like go along the whole length if you want actual reference look at an actual like staff that you may have or like the handle from a wooden shovel uh, this is probably about six feet in length if anyone's curious so we used 40 grit first and 100 so I'm just gonna keep those out of the way uh, for this next step I'm just gonna use a glove and put on a little amount and then just smear it in with my hand you could use a rag if you so choose or a brush I just find doing it this way is what works for me so you want to do a little bit a little amount and the thing with working with oil paints is they take a long time to dry which gives you a lot of working time which is nice so i applied a small like pea-sized amount on my hand and like you can see how much of an area of coverage you got and you don't want to do it too heavy or else you're not going to be able to see and I need to 
sand off this lettering because that's coming through the oil paint. So you want to make sure you do that first. I thought it would have been okay, but I guess not. I'm not priming this. I will seal it afterwards once it's fully dried. So I don't see any more lettering anywhere. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go over those areas. With the 40 grit. And we'll just do that again. So, pea size amount. You're able to see really, you don't need a lot to be able to cover our a lot but as you can see it's very heavy where you first apply it and then from there you just want to smear it out it's probably best to do little coats a uh, thin coats i should say and then you can always add more later it's better than having to sand and do it twice so, as you can see, well, you might be able to smite. I can't, it's on autofocus. I'll post pictures, but like, you can see the wood grain or the deep trenches from the 40 grit being filled in given this natural look I'm doing just burnt sienna as the paint once again I may like you can do other colors afterwards like a black wash or something you can do different obvious obviously different colors of brown or whatever to simulate the type of wood you're using But I think I'm happy with how it is. You want deep grooves so it fills in and it's darker in those areas of recession. Recessed areas, not those areas of recession. But there you go. I'll post some pictures. Yeah, the focusing, the focus is stuck on the table. Um, so you can't quite see it as well as I'd like. But I'll post some pictures. Anyways, this has been Kyle from Brittable Props. Um, that's it for the shaft. I was just doing something quick to A, test out my new camera because I haven't done any recording with it and B, to get more practice with the live streaming. Because the last time I did it was using my phone camera and that's a much lower quality picture than uh, my new Canon. Um, I'll cut out some sections. But anyways, this has been Kyle from Grudable Props. Uh, stay tuned later for the next Republic Commando video. I'll make a condensed version of this 14-15 minute video uh, when I do the actual tutorials. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. I hope you guys have a good day and that's all. See ya.